Maybe you'd like to find somewhere comfortable where you can just lie out and relax and take a little time just to be in this here-ness in your presence. So there's no rush, we just take a little time here to let you get comfortable and settled. Because to, to really feel some shifting in perspective in your life, it will just take this small commitment of a little bit of time, maybe just once a day or whatever you feel you can spare for this, but, but just a little regular time, just to lie somewhere comfortably and relax and bringing your palms just like you did in session one and focusing attention on each of the palms in turn and then placing one palm on your chest followed by the other palm just wherever they land this is good and letting go of the muscles down the arms and the shoulders and just being here feeling the rise and the fall of the chest feeling the weight and the temperature of your palms just being here and if you feel you could do this just for a little just say 10 minutes each day until you feel ready to look at the next session, session two, in this Reiki way. And maybe this is your first session. And I'll just give you some small information about energy and you can just lie like this feeling the rising and falling of the hands on the chest while I tell you a little about energy your body and all the material world is 99.9999999% just emptiness But 
this emptiness is not really empty. It's full of wave functions and quantum fields. It's full of energy. And as you're lying there on your bed, You could imagine in front of you a huge atom and this huge atom has a tiny, tiny, tiny speck inside it and it's a hundred thousand times smaller than the atom and this is the nucleus and around this nucleus are whizzing loads of electrons and these electrons they have no mass, they are just wave functions, they are just energy and there's no border for this atom that's hovering in front, there's no border to any atom they just take the average location of the electrons and call that a sort of boundary so there's no boundaries there's just this tiny speck of a nucleus and great huge empty space around it that gradually percolates into the next atom a huge empty space and these tiny 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 nucleus nuclei inside these there are protons and neutrons but these are empty space except for tiny specks inside which are called quarks and these tiny tiny specks have almost no mass but they're moving very fast. They have kinetic energy. And they're tiny in these neutrons and protons, but they're bound together by gluons. And these gluons have no mass at all, but they're binding energy. So the electrons are energy and in the tiny, tiny nucleus, the protons and the neutrons have quarks which are energy inside. In other words, atoms are near enough just energy. And the space between atoms is energy, empty space, energy. So what actually exists, scientifically decided, is just energy. And when we did this experiment, in the first session 
and you held up your palms just inches away from each other and moved it if you felt any slight, slight fluctuations this was the electromagnetic energy pushing itself pushing itself away and when you do this you are actually experiencing what is really there beyond the mind's interpretations and the energy in the body we call it electromagnetic energy and in general the reading of the electromagnetic energy in the human body is 250 cycles per second but in experiments that have been done they discovered that when people are having healing energies or when people are gifted psychically then their energies may go up to readings between 400 and 800 cycles per second but when they tested people who meditated deeply and followed what what they called a deeply spiritual path and were what they called mystical personalities these people had readings of 900 or even more cycles per second and it's clear that when you take time to experience experience the truth of who you are you leave the functioning of brain to one side and this functioning of brain which always interprets energy as a thing as material matter or thoughts feelings and emotions this functioning of the brain in some way cancels out the natural energy that would be there in its experience so it isn't that the energy grows in mystical personalities because the energy is complete everywhere for everybody all the time but it is the case that when we live in our minds the activity the functioning of the mind of the brain is sort of dampening blocking this truth by always giving it an interpretation when you look at a flower and you give it a label a flower you don't actually experience the energy coming from that source anymore the mind gives it a label and considers 
the job of flower done and puts it to one side. And in this way, perhaps we stop really experiencing the qualities of life fresh. So that's all about energy. Namaste and thank you for listening.